And oh my god, isn't it beautiful? We do have the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and we do have the Ten of Pentacles. Stability and family. Might be a situation concerning marriage and kids. Ten of Pentacles is really about legacy and future. And we do have my I love you, I want you, I want to make love to you card with the Knight of Cups. Of course, for some of you, it can be a water sign. And boy, they want to offer you stability and emotions. And they're full world of emotions. That's the Knight of Cups. It's such a rich um, energy. And they want to rush in. Knight of Swords. And this is you. And this is them. Um, Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords. You show up here with the same kind of vibe, same kind of energy. Um, Knight still to learn, right? Still in the process of not yet uh, fully done. In a process of becoming kings, of course, but a lot of action. A lot of love and a lot of action. Quite, mas quite masculine energy, I would say, right? Two knights, but... Um, one speaks of beautiful emotions, the other one of action, no matter what. Who has time to wait, right? That's the Knight of Swords. I'm rushing in and God knows I'm going to deal with trouble once um, it comes my way. Four of Wands. I may be picking up the energy of a Libra who's married or this is about marriage and family and roots and commitment. Four of Wands is the energy of being part of their community and them being part of yours. Uh, and roots, especially roots. And of course, it's the 1111 card. So I'm picking up a lot of love. And now we do have the sun. Um, Knight of Cups in the sun. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo energy. A lot of happiness, a lot of truth and awakening to love. Because again, Knight of Cups is my love you, I want you, I want to make love to you. And the sun is the most enlightening energy of all, um, of all energies. Three of Swords in Reverse, Knight of Cups, somebody is hurt in, in the equation. Uh, we might be healing uh, past hurts with love. Three of Swords, Knight of Cups, right? Is healing love, emotional love that finally brings us back to balance after a very deep, dark night of the soul. Knight of Cups, Two of Cups, are you kidding me, Libra? I guess I want to be a Libra today. Two of Cups and Knight of Cups, you cannot have more love actually than this one. There is no way we can have more than Two of Cups and Knight of Cups, you know. Reciprocated love, body, mind, and soul. Now let's see. Let's see, Libra. Um, bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. And we do have peace of mind. I love this. Six of Swords. But we also have fears, right? Or we had fears. Uh, we might still be, right, in that energy of what in the world is going to happen. Um, it's the energy of feeling lost and being lost and finally having some peace of mind, moving away from tormented waters, feeling at ease. It's a beautiful energy, actually. Okay. Now let's see how this peace of mind comes to life uh, for this time. And you know how time is fluid and you know um, you only take what resonates, right? And always use your better judgment. So Libra, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Let's have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome. Bottom of the deck, the star card, the Aquarius energy, the mind energy, the healing energy, alignment, wish fulfillment and divine guidance such a beautiful healing energy and you have like a combination of right of divine guidance but also internal peace of mind saying you know what i know how to walk away from something that was very uh fearful with the moon um deep emotions dark emotions dark night of the soul right with the moon confusion dissipating that's also the overall energy through divine gui guidance alignment and um, divine intervention so Libra, in the past, well, we loved and we got abandoned. Uh, we do have the Six of Cups, right? They were your soulmate. There was a bond that uh, um, kind of um, defied all understanding. That's a Six of Cups. And um, and Five of Pentacles being left out in, in the cold, right? Being left out, saying no thank you, being rejected, being abandoned, being 
pushed away us to leave also it's the energy of five of pentacles and ever since we have this uh, a full heart of love for this person right six of cups is the energy of we still think about them we still miss them we still go through communications and and um, try to figure out and probably feeling lonely that's the five of pentacles in the past now this person of yours libra um eight of cups walked away seven of wands and blocked right this is eight of cups the destiny is calling um I have to be someplace else. Um, I'm no longer fulfilled here. I am um, open to see what the universe brings to me. And then the seven of wands. Blocking, not talking, asking for space, for time. It's the energy of ghosting. It's the energy of um, kind of defending their space and uh, pushing you away. And it's so in line with the five of pentacles. It's exactly the answer to seven of wands, right? Mutual energies between the two of you, High Priestess, silence and secret, secrets, and whatever was secret, it's a Three of Cups. We might have been too many in the bedroom. Um, can be a third party situation. I mean, all that um, defensiveness and, um, and feeling lonely, right? The, the connection was a little bit, um, I would say, difficult and uh, with a lot of silence. Seven of Wands is a lot of blocking. High Priestess is a tremendous amount of... Um, of silence right and um, and secrets and standing still and not um, taking action right in uh, in no way shape or form um, I do love the high priestess is the energy of knowing so whoever and it's between you and this person of Libra so that is a sense of um, knowing either that this is going to happen um, that it was a matter of time, a matter of, um, you know, just um, God knows. Um, a matter of how exactly is it um, going to happen. It's uh, it's an energy of intuition. Um, so I kind of sense that both of you, you knew at some point that this is, um, um, you know, going to either lead nowhere or you've known the truth of this connection, right? With a high priestess. So, and then there was no longer a connection there. And it's interesting, um, Libra, because I do love the peace of mind right now and the divine guidance in it. For some of you just recently going through this, um, it, it brings a sense of relief in terms of energies coming your way. It, it does bring a sense of um, relief and divine guidance and finally being able, you know, to get into a boat and uh, walk away or... Uh, <laughs> sail away right um from a situation where we we love so much and we got so little actually that's exactly the energy in the past we loved so much and we got five of pentacles right which, which is charity and uh, breadcrumbs so um i'm just saying oh and i love the star card again uh the bright aquarius energy so where are we right now three of pentacles and the star we are actively working on healing um on divine guidance on listening to spirit guides working with co-constructing with the universe that's the beautiful energy uh, but mainly healing i love the star card on your side we are um, um in a very solid way right we are building something three of pentacles is building a life putting the pieces back together it is the energy of joining a group and or uh, people or another person or opening up to um, joining up people that will uh, enable for us this healing and, and this building energy, right? Of putting the pieces back together. Now, this person of yours, um, Libra, they might be focused on work. We do have them in the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Either they feel unstable and they are, um, you know, um, mainly focusing on money, career, um, saving money or, uh, you know, building a firm foundation of some sort. They might be also learning. Eight of Pentacles is the apprenticeship card. But I would say um, focus someplace else there focused on something else i would say that is a sense of practicality and a sense of um everyday life there's a sense of survival in that energy eight of pentacles and four of pentacles a deep energy of 
I need to make sure I'm good. I need to make sure I can go through this. So they might be going through struggles and we all are at this time. Um, but the way they manage, the way they deal with this is from a place of practicality and making sure uh, they have enough bags of pentacles, right? It's interesting, over here they are working to make them and over here they are working to save them and put them to safety, you know, it's um, quite interesting. It's the miser card, but hey. Now between you and this person, Libra, we do have the tower and the eight of wands. Um, I would say explosive energy. Um, in a sense that um, probably the explosion just happened, the separation, maybe it's lived in a different way. But we also have eight of wands, projects and uh, plans and traveling. So I would say you come with this person at this point where you are two completely different energies, right? We have you working on your healing, we have them working on their money. And in between is a world of disruption, uh, probably separation, probably divorce, probably a life being, um, you know, kind of in pieces. Um, and it's right, we are all going um, on a planetary scale, right, uh, through a tower moment. So, um, but then I love the eight of wands for both of you. This is, you know what, I'm going to keep pushing, I'm going to keep going. Eight of wands is a very passionate energy of projects and, and seeing things moving and having a sense of, you know what, I, I have a direction, I, I, I know what I'm going to do, you know despite the tower moment so it's a beautiful it's kind of a beautiful tower to have you know the um the uh, 3.0 version you know kind of um a maxed up or or um um maxed out uh, anyways you get my point right the, the better version the best version actually of of a disruption one that enables action traveling a sense of freedom a sense of success a sense of now i know now I know what I want to do and uh, what is my ne next step. I would say both of you, there is a sense of clarity for this. Um, well, moving forward or coming your way, we do have the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Tons of stability coming your way, Libra. Queen of Pentacles is the energy of somebody who is abundant. Um, has a, you know, Queen of Pentacles, I mean, she knows how to make money, right? And she knows how to bring stability focused on family. And, um, and roots, and with the Nine of Pentacles, again, this energy of abundance and independence. Um, so Libra can be your energy moving forward um, towards September. This can be the energy coming your way, but boy, we need that Six of Swords. We need the peace of mind. And probably this is you becoming more practical. We work on the healing first. That's the energy right now. And we move into this abundant energy of Pentacles coming your way. This person of yours, they stay in the pentacle energy, uh, in the pentacles energy, Libra. We have them seven of pentacles, six of pentacles, balanced and patient uh, for the harvest. Focused on money that like that is now tomorrow, but also a sense of balance, right? Six of pentacles doesn't always mean, um, you know, it can very well um, mean balance and stability and trying to, um, to have a future of some sort. And also knowing that they've invested, so harvest is coming. Um, can be the energy of reciprocation, but we we'll know that we have the big picture. I'm seeing them more focused on building something for themselves from scratch than anything else at this time. And they are willing to wait till they feel stable and solid enough. Mutual energy is coming your, both your way, uh, we keep going. We have the Peace of Mind, uh, Six of Swords with the Three of Swords. Exactly the same energy with Six of Swords and the Healing card, right? Here we walk away from heartbreak, here we walk away, we move towards healing and divine guidance. So it's exactly the same energy for both of you. There is a lot of healing happening, but deploying kind of uh, to different strategies, right? Well, you kind of you kind of join theirs when it comes to Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. We, um, you know, it's the energy of I just want to be stable and have enough and make sure I end the month in a proper way. And on their side, um, 
they are already fully committed to just money, you know, just money. Can be a way, and by the way, that is a form of therapy through work. Uh, it's not, of course, <laughs> as traditional as the other one, the other ones, and it doesn't have the whole um, um, kind of recognition, right? Uh, but that is um, common knowledge, and that is um, sometimes we recommend, right, people to focus on what brings them stability, and uh, and making sure they can um, occupy their mind with something useful in a sense of mission. Um, and I'm sensing they might be there, you know. Um, and finally, peace of mind. That is a strong energy of peace of mind here, Libra, like there is no tomorrow. Um, twice the Aquarius, twice the, the Aquarius, <laughs> twice the, the, the star card, twice the six of swords. Somebody here is saying, somebody here needs, needs to hear, right? The universe wants to make sure that, you know, peace of mind is coming, divine guidance, intuition, and solid, um, and solid commitment and solid kind of build up of a life of some sort. Um, so if the question was, are we coming back together? Uh, the answer is, um, healing. So no, um, the answer is healing and peace of mind for now. Um, but let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to know or do about this connection of ours. And Libra, we do have, this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So they might be the one. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So they might be the one, but that is a career problem there. There is a there is a money issue and the whole reading on their side is all about money. So I don't know who you are dealing with, but baby, you deserve love. You are lovable. You know how it feels? Um... Libra, it feels like you've met somebody, but they are so focused on money. And the universe is kind of saying, yeah, they might be the one, but guess what? You deserve love and they are busy making money. So how about we uh, change gear, right? And we rush in the opposite direction here. This is what I'm hearing, but you'll have to let me know what you, how you receive this advice. Because yeah, this could be the one, but you deserve love and somebody is focused on finances and career so what else creativity so when it comes to love we need to think outside the box um when it comes to love we have to right they might surprise you with their um um you know with their differences they might be coming from a completely different background skin color culture you know that we also have true love this is once in a lifetime Libra, that's crazy, right? Yeah, they might be the one. Yes, it's all about money, but you deserve love. You deserve true love, and we need to think outside the box when it comes to love. This one wanted to come out, so I'm taking it. And we do have the Rainbow Reviver. We forgot to have fun and take things easy. And um, spice up a connection that you have with somebody, Libra. Okay? You are really guided towards that kind of energy. Rainbow Reviver. To bring some happiness because this is true love and you deserve love but we have to be creative quite interesting and yet we have peace of mind it's kind of probably it's kind of the universe saying let's be patient let's think outside the box let's let's bring some happiness into this because you deserve love but I, we saw the reading we we don't have <clears throat> we don't have the energy of people coming together <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. But I um but then both of you you are healing in two different ways, so So we do have health. <clears throat> I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Sorry, I'm so losing my voice today. <clears throat> So we are actually guided to bring health back into um, into the flow, uh, Libra. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. We do have pride. No, we don't have to bring pride, but I love myself and I see myself in everyone. 
We don't judge, we don't label, we don't label ourselves and we don't label others. So no pride, but transformation. You see the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. Yeah, I would say eh? a very transformative experience for some of you. For some of you are guided actually to remember that that is, yeah, might be a painful situation, but it's a beautiful transformation in the same time happening. We do have detachment. You are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love. And we do have commitment. You dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of your very being. Um, Libra, we, know, we now have the whole guidance, right? And the universe is kind of saying, they might be the one, but you deserve love and they are busy with finances and career. Yes, that is true love, or you have, or they have true love, but we need to bring some spice and be creative. In the same time, it's interesting because the whole energy is to put back into the flow. You have detachment, commitment, and transformation. I get this message of this energy of transforming a connection so that it fits some, uh, both of you, right? One who deserves love and one who is focused on uh, finances and career. And of course, health. That is something about um, either a healthy connection, a healthy bond, a healthy detachment, or, uh, you know, meeting the person, the, the other person halfway in a healthy way. When it comes to commitment and relationships. So this is the guidance I'm, I'm, I'm receiving. I don't know exactly how you receive this. You'll have to let me know in the comments. And the sense of peace of mind is just overwhelming for you, Libra. And I'm so happy to see this because this person of yours, they are not ready to make a move just yet. Okay. Um, so, hey, this is all that I have for you. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I wanted to stay strong and safe and come to see me next time. Love you. Take care.